maybe they use it for their city landscaping. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll find out though. That's interesting that they're using pallets. No. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Miramar Greenery. Thanks for coming. Um, one thing I'll ask before we get off the bus excuse me, is um, if we can all stay together as a group, because we do have quite a few pieces of equipment operating, and you guys don't all have guests, so please stay with the group. What we're going to do right here is they're going to get that really great old tub grinder going, and we're going to do some pallets and dimensional lumber. You can see we've got, uh, I think we've got two-inch screens in it, so you can see the size on that. And then we're going to be dumping a food waste load, and we're also going to dump the food waste from the conference. And we'll talk about that and some of the uh, ways that we process food waste here. Then we'll get back on the bus and we're going to drive it over to where our new site is and where our uh, Comptech XL star screen is operating. And we'll um, get out there and you can look at all the uh, wonderful things that that star screen does for our operation. Um, the overview of the greenery is that we process over 100,000 tons of uh, source separated green waste, yard waste, and wood waste every year. Uh, right now the breakdown is about 4% is wood waste, dimensional lumber like you see in these piles. 94 to 96% is source separated yard waste coming in from landscapers, residents, and commercial accounts, and some of our uh, city automated collection. Um, all of our loads are, are basically 100% load checked, so we get all the contamination out on the front end, which as most of you know, really helps, helps you create a clean product and keep your equipment up and running. Um, we have two grinders. We have a, our backup tub grinder. That's a really old piece of equipment. And we've got a, a newer a horizontal grinder, which is really tolerant to a lot of contamination, a lot of throughput. 